Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly in a webinar. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Today we'll be talking about using Doodly in webinars. Doodly is a powerful tool that can be used to create stunning animations and graphics for webinars. It's an easy to use platform with a large selection of characters, props, and scenes that you can use to create unique visuals for your webinar. So the first thing we want to do is go over how to create some basic animations with Doodly, such as creating a title sequence for your webinar. Well, we want to do this in two different programs, okay? So we're going to use Doodly, of course, to create our animations. And then we'll also use PowerPoint to create the actual presentation, right? So I already have one of the default templates that comes with PowerPoint. And I just put a few little key points here to kind of customize my pretend webinar, okay? So these are all fake people and this is just a fake person. And we're gonna insert some doodly graphics into this webinar, to bring it to life, okay? So my pretend webinar is about whiteboard animation, so it's kind of meta. So it would make sense that we include some whiteboard animations in it. So this is an okay title, but I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna make like a little TV screen with the title, with the whiteboard, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this same graphic, basically, inside. So, let's just do something here. If you go to new slide, take your title slide, and you get a blank version, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, and I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna export just this image. So to do that, I wanna go up to my file menu, choose export, and we want um, PNG and we want to save the current slide only and we're just going to name it blank title. Size is fine, that'll fit within Doodly's requirements. And then we're going to go back into Doodly, okay? So we can delete this, we no longer need this. So now I have a blank scene. I'm going to go to props and I'm going to click the blue plus sign. And I'm just going to drag and drop my image that I just created in here. And now let's look for a computer screen or a TV monitor. So let's just try. I think the uh, rectangle should fit in here pretty nicely. Yeah, that'll work. So let's put the monitor behind. Take this and we're just going to resize it so this fits in here. And that should be fine. Now it's a little small, so I'm gonna select them both and hit my command or control button and click both of them. And now they're grouped so I can resize them together. Now let's add our graphic. Let's use this one. Use word wrap. And then it was by Ann Smith, so I'm gonna put her name in here. And let's put a character in here to represent Anne. If you recall last week, we did um, some basic cropping in Doodly. Where did that go? There it is. Where you so I cropped this. So if you want to know how to crop one of the characters, go back and watch that video. Okay, so we have our scene. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a mess when we preview it. We see we don't want the cloud to even show up or any of that. So we just have to decide what we want and what order we want. I want this cloud to be hidden, so I'm going to make this a zero duration as well as this one. Okay, so these will just automatically be here. And then the hand will draw on everything else. So easy video creation should be first. We don't we don't want the hand flying through that. It can be slow. Then we'll have her come on after. And it can be, you know, we have time. We don't have to fly through this. And then that should be fine. And then let's put some time at the end of the scene. Let's just say 10 seconds or so. And let's hit preview.
and then it's just going to stay there static like that. And I like that. I think the timing is fine. If you want to add music, since this is just the very beginning, you know, people are coming in, you could do that. Um, go over here to the sounds tab and choose music. And then we'll just use any minute now. We'll just put that down here. And let's say you do want it to be like the whole 44 seconds just to give people time to get logged on and everything. You certainly can do that. And the way you would do that is add more time at the end. So scene settings. So let's just say 40 seconds. So now the video lasts with the music. So quick preview. So once you're happy with your title sequence, you're going to go ahead and go export and you're going to choose a location. I'm just going to put mine on the desktop, give it a name, choose your resolution. I think 720 will be fine for our purposes and click continue. It's only take a, a minute or two to export. And then once that's done, we'll go into PowerPoint and add our video. Okay, so that's done. Let's go back into PowerPoint and I can get rid of this. Let's go to your insert tab here and then choose video and movie from file. And it's on my desktop, here it is, insert. Now I'm just gonna resize my video so it fits in here. Like so. So now let's go to slideshow. And let's just here go ahead and play it. This is my first slide. And then you can Exit. If you if you aren't fond of that look, go to designer and the AI will give you some other options. Maybe something like that. So now onto our next slide, we've got the agenda. So if you wanted, you could also do another doodly animation for your agenda items. So you go into doodly and we're gonna need to create a brand new video. So click create new video and we're just gonna call this webinar agenda. And I'm gonna make this one, instead of being a rectangle, I'm gonna make it a square. So I'm gonna choose my resolution and I'm gonna choose Facebook and Instagram and that turns that into a square. And the reason I'm choosing square is because of the layout of my slide here. I just want a little square one. And in this case, I want a frame. So I'm gonna to go to props and I'm gonna choose, let's oh, see, I have one right here. Square, let's just do square, square frame. We could use this one like that and just make it go all the way to the edges like so. And then we'll just go ahead and get our text. And And let's add Mary. And then you just do your settings, okay? So I want this to be zero. And you just kind of figure out how long that you think it's gonna take for the writing to be written based on the length of the sentence. And then again, you're gonna to want to have some time at the end that'll be fine. I'm not doing music. That was just for the introduction. And let's just, uh, maybe we'll change a hand. So go down to settings and let's do a cartoon hand. Hit apply and let's take a quick look and then we'll export it and bring it into PowerPoint. So once again, export it 
and this will be fine still on my desktop and we've got our 1000 by 1000 square okay let's go back into powerpoint and we're going to get rid of this go to insert video movie from file and this time it's going to be the agenda and then we're just going to resize it because that's just a little large doesn't quite fit where i want it boom You'll notice once the video reaches the end, it just pauses on your last scene. So that is fine. This will work great for moving through your PowerPoint presentation as you go. And there you have it. Using Doodly can help make your webinars more engaging and visually appealing, and it's a great way to add a professional touch to your presentation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you feel confident using Doodly in your next webinar. Thanks for watching.